Carbon fiber is one of the best materials available today. It's lighter than aluminum and stronger than steel, but it's not as common because it's expensive and complicated to make. However, I want to learn more about carbon fiber, so I'm going to make a simple part using a process called forging. I started by designing a two-piece mold. This will be used to squeeze carbon fiber into the shape of a small dish. So I filled my 3D printer with resin and gave it a few hours to do its thing. After popping the mold off of the plate, I can remove the supports needed for printing. I washed it in some alcohol to remove extra resin and set it in the sun for a couple hours to finish curing. The 3D printer doesn't print curved surfaces very well, so I'm going to sand it to smooth things out a little bit. Not only will it make it easier to remove the part later, but the part itself will have a smoother finish. After sanding, I wiped it down with some alcohol for a final cleaning. I bought a kit that I'll link below. It included some quarter inch chopped carbon strands and some epoxy resin. The kit said to mix one part resin with 0.44 parts hardener if you're measuring by weight like I am. I sprayed the mold with some cooking spray so that the epoxy wouldn't stick and then started adding epoxy and carbon fiber strands. And here's where I noticed my first design flaw. I had nothing to center the lid on the mold. So I'm going to use one clamp to center the lid and another clamp to squeeze the mold together. I let everything sit for 24 hours to cure and came back to try and open the mold. Unfortunately, no matter what I did, I could not get the lid off. After breaking all the edges on my mold and shooting little glass-like pieces of plastic all over my garage, I'm gonna give up on this one and go back to the drawing board. I think I need to make a few changes to the mold and possibly use a better release agent than Pam cooking spray. I've improved the mold design by adding a couple tabs on the side to center the lid when I put it on. I've also cut out around the edges so any overflow is able to squish out a little better. And then I just generally saved plastic material so I didn't use as much while I was 3D printing. I 3D printed the new mold, prepped it, and sanded it for my second attempt. This time I used petroleum jelly, hoping that a thicker lubricant would help the part pop out once I was done. And I greased the entire mold. I want nothing to stick to it this time. I measured out another batch of resin and mixed it really well. The instructions say to mix it for two minutes, otherwise your part might end up sticky and you have to do it again. I added resin and carbon fiber strands to the mold. This is the easy part. You just kind of pour it in, let it soak through and then closed the mold up and started clamping it. And the tabs I added to the side of the mold really helped center the lid. That worked out really well. And now for the moment of truth. Huh. This is not going as planned. There we go, a little bit of progress. We got the part out of the bottom of the mold. Let's see if we can work on the top. After a lot of prying and cutting, I finally got the part out. I definitely destroyed the top part of the mold, but here we are. So I trimmed off the excess, sanded everything down, and cleaned it up with some alcohol. And this is what we're left with. As you can see, one of the edges didn't fill out completely. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and patch that. I couldn't get painter's tape or duct tape to stick to the carbon fiber dish very well, so I wrapped the tape all the way around it so it could stick to itself. That's the only way I could get to build this little dam here. And now I'm going to set this in at an angle and try to patch this little chip out of the corner. And this is pretty straightforward. All I need to do is add a few carbon fiber strands and a little bit of resin to glue it in. Luckily with forged carbon fiber, there's no pattern or weave to maintain. So I can just sprinkle this in and sand it down with no issues. It's not gonna ruin the finish or make it look weird. After a day of curing, this is where I'm left with. So I just need to trim this down and sand it smooth like the rest of the dish. At this point, the hole is patched and the dish is its final shape. So now all I wanna do is cover it in one more layer of epoxy to give it a nice smooth finish. With that cured, I'm gonna do my final sanding to level the surface. I'm gonna progressively go from 220 grit to 400 grit to 800 grit, just to work out any scratches I put in it. 
And my last step is just to polish it a little bit with some car wax. So here's the final part, just a small carbon fiber dish. Just a way for me to experiment with forging carbon fiber and figure out the process and things that do and don't work. The 3D printed mold worked really well. I think my design was just a little bit off. I need to draft the walls a little bit or make it easier for the bowl to slide out. A flat part would be really simple or a completely solid part would also probably be a little bit better. And then lubricant. I think the petroleum jelly is sufficient. If you can buy a better solid lube that's used for these kind of molding processes, it'd probably be even better. Overall, a pretty easy process. I like it. Please be sure to check out my other videos and thank you for watching. Bye.